asking, what do I think about Andy Mack? Andy Mack, of course, is the new Disney Channel show that just premiered recently. It's actually by the same people that did Lizzie McGuire, which was one of my favorite shows as a kid. I loved it. I loved everything about it, actually. When I heard that it was by the same people, I immediately knew that I was going to have to tune into this. And then the promos came out, and I was shook as the kids say. The style of filming immediately caught my attention. It's so not Disney Channel-esque. Kind of like stuck in the middle or the lodge or backstage, kind of that filming style. It's not like there's a live audience and then a set and then the cameras are on the set. I think it's like single camera filming something like that. So that immediately caught my attention. The second thing that caught my attention was how adorable the girl that plays Andy Mack is. She is so precious and she just makes you smile. Her name is Peyton Elizabeth Lee and I think she's going to go so far. So those caught my attention and then the storyline caught my attention like a ton of bricks. Wait, that didn't make any sense. I started seeing all these articles on social media about the storyline and that got me so hyped up because it wasn't like anything I had ever seen on Disney Channel. And honestly, it is about time. There's rumors that there is going to be a gay character on the show, which finally, thank you. I honestly can't believe it's taken this long. That honestly blows my mind, but I'm so glad that we are finally there, finally gonna get it. I mean, it's still just rumors, but I really, really think it's gonna happen. More on that a little bit later. And the whole thing about Andy's sister Bex not being her sister, but actually being her mother, this is so refreshing, this is so good. Now, I would be lying if I didn't say that a part of me really hesitated to like the show, simply because Girl Meets World is so important to me. It's still important to me, I know it's canceled, but it's still so, so, so important to me. And I sort of felt like Girl Meets World was canceled and they were like, we outgrew the network, but then the network was like, hey, here's the show Andy Mack and we're gonna deal with like teenage having kids stuff. And I'm like, it just sort of felt like a slap in the face. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna watch this. I'm gonna protest. But it's a good show and it's really not fair to penalize the awesome actors on that show and the awesome writers and crew. So while I'm a little bit mad that Disney Channel canceled Girl Meets World before it had a chance to cover more topics like the ones on Andy Mack, I like Andy Mack and I like where it's going. I'm going to take a few minutes to answer some of the questions you guys had for me about Andy Mack. A lot of people ask me what I thought about the plot twist of Bex being Andy's mom. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see that with my own eyes. I mean, I saw the episode, but I went into it knowing that that plot twist was going to happen because I had seen it all over social media. And so it wasn't a surprise to me, but I still really liked it and it was still a powerful moment. It's almost kind of subtle in a way. They didn't come out and say that like Bex had this baby when she was a teenager. So younger kids might not understand that. It might just go right over their head and they'll be like, oh, that's her mom. <laughs> but it was still really refreshing and still a really good plot twist. Right off the bat, they hook you in and it's just like a really good move on their part. And it's definitely something that we have not seen on Disney Channel. Olivia wants to know, will this show run long? I have really high hopes for this show. I definitely think it will get to four seasons. Though I definitely 100% thought that about Girl Meets World and look where we are now. So no promises. But I'm hopeful. I think it will get to four seasons. We'll see if four seasons from now I'm here telling you it got canceled. <laughs> Olivia also wants to know, who is your least favorite character and why? I think my least favorite character is a tie <laughs> between Amber and Andy's grandma. Andy's grandmother, I'm sure we'll get into her backstory and how she felt about the whole Andy being born thing and maybe I'll like her a little bit better, but right now I'm like, she's just so mean. What is she so bitter about? Like bitter party of one. She's so unfair to Bex and I guess we don't really know her backstory and all of her feelings, but like right now she's just so bitter and I'm like, stop it. Amber drives me crazy. It's nothing against the actress. She's wonderful. It's just the character and I think we're not supposed to like her because obviously we're supposed to be on Andy's side. The way she comes in and says Amber alert, I'm like stop it. Stop it. So the writers are doing a good job with that because Amber drives me crazy. Chloe wants to know who is your favorite character and why? My favorite character is Andy. Definitely Andy. I love her style. I love how quirky she is. I love everything about her. I think she is such a great leading lady. She definitely has a star power that I'm super excited to see just grow and blossom. She tugs at my heartstrings, but she makes me laugh a second later and it's just, she's great. Andy as a character has a lot of depth and I just 
really love her. Maddie wants to know which character do you think relates to you the most and why? Okay, I'm going to say Andy, but only because we are both super quirky and we have a similar style. She's kind of awkward, she's kind of silly, and that's totally me. Obviously, I don't really relate to the whole sister becoming mother thing because my mom has always been my mom. <laughs> but I relate to her awkwardness, her silliness, her quirkiness, her lovingness. A lot of parts of her personality remind me of my own personality. Shannon wants to know, what do you think of Bowie so far? First of all, I love the names on this show. I like Bowie, Bex, and I think these are cool names, <laughs> but that really doesn't have much to do with the question. I like Bowie so far. I like that he came to the house and he was like, I am taking charge of this. We're not going to email back and forth stupidly. And I think he'll have a really good relationship with Andy. He seems super creative, just like her. And I'm glad we get to see this like modern family dynamic. Not modern family the show, but like a modern family. Maddie wants to know, did you have any predictions before the show? If so, what were your predictions? I'm going to change this and talk about the predictions I have currently. I definitely think that Andy and Jonah are going to get closer. I don't know if you guys remember, but way, way back they showed like coming up on this season of Andy Mac, and it was a bunch of clips from the season. They were quick, there wasn't much in them, but there was one moment that I clung to. Buffy is sitting with Cyrus, and they seem pretty serious, and Buffy asks Cyrus, do you like Andy? And I took that moment and I ran with it. I think that Buffy thinks that Cyrus likes Andy, but really he likes Jonah. So when Andy and Jonah start hanging out more and getting closer and doing things together, it seems like he's jealous because he likes Andy, but he's really jealous because he likes Jonah. I definitely see a love triangle coming between Andy, Jonah, and Cyrus. Definitely 100%, a million percent, definitely 100%, a million percent. <laughs> that is how sure I am. So that is my current number one prediction. Laura wants to know, do you sing along with Sabrina during the theme song? I do every single time. I do too! I don't quite know the words yet, so it's more like do 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 <laughs> But I'm so glad that Sabrina is a part of this. I love the theme song. I love her. Her voice. It's such a happy theme song that makes me just want to be like, ah, oh, it's a sunny day, flowers. So those are my thoughts on Andy Mac. Let me know what you think about the show in the comments. I love you all. Stay beautiful, you people. Bye! Bye, 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 bye.